Who's a carried Ferrari? As David Brabham on another fresh set of rubber goes out for another attempt to improve. He was 21st when there were 21 people on the circuit. And a quick look to see David now down in 25th. Teammate, teammate Jean Marc Gounon in his first drive for Simtech team is 26th. Well, the Simtech team has had a difficult start of the season. Two cars here, John Seth, Jean-Marc Gounon and David Brabham. But, John, the, the team, if you walk into the garage and they look good, everything, it's looked like a proper Formula One team. Small, neat, tidy. And also, for the first time this weekend, both cars running with semi-automatic gearboxes. The problem is, everything is identical, but one's behaving better than the other and really no one quite able to trace the cause of that difference in, in gear change performance but it is a difficult position for any new team both in terms of keeping up with technology and with the, the enormous and tragic setbacks that Simtech had first of all of course for Roland Ratzenberger at Imola and then in Barcelona when Andrea Montermini planted it fairly and squarely in the wall on the outside of the pitch corner in Barcelona so the team still recovering from two very serious and tragic moments well Damon Hill goes out again while well, we stay with David Brabham for the moment um, Damon currently third fastest 117.844 Point seven five seconds away from pole position. Well, David Brabham passes the Pacific, and both Pacifics are out at the moment, if I saw right, John. It's the Pacifics of Gasho and Belmondo are 27th and 28th, and there's like 0.8 of a second between Bertrand Gasho and the last qualifier, Jean-Marc Gounon. Well, Martin Brundle and here's McLaren Peugeot in fifth place. But what is a little more surprising is Mika Hakkinen down in 11th place. Now, normally, Mika is the quicker of the two in qualification. So one, I think, is led to believe that the problems that Hakkinen have 